this is Heidi with Gumpel TV. I'm here with Wesley Arms. Um, so we were just, you guys had just mentioned it. We're here in Switzerland and you were saying something about the festival. Can you repeat what you said? I said it is a very beautiful festival, probably the prettiest setting we've ever yeah. played in, right in between mountains and there's like fog coming in and it's just a, a gorgeous scene. Um, I was lucky enough earlier to uh, get to see you guys a bit on stage, and uh, you happened to mention that you've already been in Switzerland before, um, but have you ever been to this region? We haven't. We've been to um, Bern. Um, yeah, that's We've right. been there, and then Zurich. Zurich, yep. And maybe one other? Oh, Solothurn. So, uh, yeah, yeah. So yep. On our yeah. first trip, first we did trip, Zurich yeah. and Solothurn, and then back to Zurich one other time, and now we're here. Great. Yeah. Um, is there anything in particular that really sticks out to you as being typical Swiss? The cheese. Yeah. The cheese. <laughs> I was very happy to see there's a whole stand in the in the backstage area where they just like shave off some cheese and melt it down. And that's something we cannot get in the States. And if they tried, it wouldn't be nearly as no. good. So I'm going to go back there when we're done and eat a bunch of cheese. It's called Rocklet, and it's a specialty from this region. So that's it's that's part of the reason why it's backstage because it's a region. That's awesome. Um, I was reading a little bit about um, in one of the other interviews you guys were talking about success, and the interview was a little bit older, and you were saying how uh, success was defined on how you can make music and still make a living. That's how you did. Has that still stayed the same, or has that now changed? I, I, I think it's always ever changing because you want to keep pushing yourselves and, and doing different things and finding different tones and different soundscapes for everything. So I think that's one thing from the early days that we've we've always tried to do is push ourselves and push the envelope musically and to see where we can take it to the next level. And um, yeah, I, I, I kind of feel like we're always trying to push. And uh... Yeah, I think it, it holds true and it's really like as we go on, to, to continue to be successful is to like push ourselves and, and push the envelope. So now that we feel like, all right, we're at least able to afford um, clean clothes every once in a while and a good meal, and um, and we're and we're doing what we love doing, which is getting to to travel the world and take our music to new people. Now, how do we keep doing that, and how can we keep having fun doing it? And I think there's going to be, you know, some of that has to be in the the finding new sonic uh, ways to do that and have fun and continue to have fun. Obviously, we still have fun playing the same songs, but it's really fun to play a new song every once in a while. Um, so in the immediate future, you guys are going to be off to Hamburg for Sunday. Um, but what can we expect in the distant future? Or is there anything you guys have planned project-wise? Yeah, we are getting ready for our first ever headline tour that'll start in the States and then come over to Europe and we're in Zurich uh, November 3rd. And um, and so what we're looking forward to is actually getting to put together a whole show with lighting and you know a long set because we've been doing some opening sets and some festivals that are a little bit shorter. And so putting together that long show and really having fun with it, that's what we're, that's what we're about to do and that'll keep us busy through the rest of the year. Great, um, well thank you very much for your time and yeah, I yeah. hope you guys enjoy your raclette. Oh, we um, will. This is Heidi with Gompel TV.